All right, welcome back to SF Vortex, and we have made it down to the war room. And joining us today, we have three newcomers, folks. Jeff Walker is here, a marketing consultant for Genre Flicks. Jeff was one of the men responsible for the record-breaking box office success of Batman back in 1989. Oh, Very impressive. You, All right, also here is James E. Brooks, a freelance writer and film critic, whose credits include Expose, Starburst, and Film Review. And also joining us, Tom Davis, host of the Sci-Fi Channel's very own Trailer Park. And Tom was also one of the writers of the Coneheads movie. First right. draft. First draft, yeah. all right. Guys, welcome to the show, your first time. Excited to be here? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. My first question, the trailer. Obviously one of the studio's big marketing tools, but in a lot of cases in today's films, the movie itself is almost a letdown after we see these big trailers, i.e. The Island of Dr. Moreau, what was going on in that film, and then Relic, the same thing. Uh, Jeff, what do you think? Well, it's been known to happen, but, but you have to bear in mind the trailers are cut by a completely different group of people than are, than are cutting the film at any given right. time. And so they're, they're doing without having seen the film, and they're cutting it, basically taking the best stuff from a movie that, are, that they feel is going to appeal to the given viewership. Tom? Well, I host a show right on the uh, right on the Sci-Fi Channel. Oh, really? On the Sci-Fi Channel? Yeah. It's What's the my, name of it? Uh, it's called Trailer Park. Okay. Go right ahead. <laughs> and and that, the concept is that <laughs> trailers are sometimes more entertaining than the actual movies, and all we do is show trailers. Uh -huh. And uh, we got picked up again, so well, it must be entertaining. Congratulations. Well, there's a little plug. All right. Very cool. Uh, Jim, what do you think? Well, I think the uh, probably the pithiest expression I saw of that was uh, when I was in college. They had a a guy who made his living making trailers. And the first thing he said when he started talking was, you know, I'm paid to lie to you. Ah, huh. So. Okay, well there you have it right there. Well, speaking of trailers, you know, Men in Black, the movie, scheduled to be released July 2nd. The trailer, of course, is already in theaters, and guess what? It's also right here in the Vortex. So why don't we all take a look? Best. Okay, there you have it. Obviously, they're going for the sci-fi audience there, but as well, it looks like a comedy. Tom, you're our trailer park host, expert on these trailers. Wh who are they going for here in this particular trailer? Oh, I think they're always going for the 14 to 24-year-olds, because yeah. those are the people who go to the movies. Right. Uh, looking at that, I, I noticed it ran into that sculpture that's uh, right near Shea Stadium. Mm. I wish they had plowed into Shea Stadium <laughs> when the Mets were playing. That's my first reaction. <laughs> Jeff, what do you think? Who are they going for in that particular trailer? Oh, they're going to go for Will Smith fans. And Absolutely. they're going to go for science fiction fans. they right. got Will Smith fighting aliens again, uh, coming off Independence Day. Yeah, it uh, did look like Independence yeah, Day. Sure. For well, it kind of had an bit. Independence Day feel there, didn't it, Jim? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I've actually seen about 20 minutes of the movie. And uh, you're right. They're going for all those people. The studio wants a franchise. They really want a movie that they can keep making sequels and sequels. And um, it actually looks like it's pretty entertaining. As far as a trailer goes, it's more like what I think a lot of people want. They don't give the whole thing away. Right. You know, there's still something to see when you line up and get your ticket in May, sure. I think it is, or July. Hey, don't you guys think that in some situations, there have been a few, and one comes to mind with me is First Contact. That trailer kind of gave away, you knew what the board was up to because of the trailer. Do you agree with me, Jim? Well, See, they kind of screwed the pooch in a way because the whole TV show gave away what the movie was going to be right, about. Right, right. But, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's very frustrating sometimes if you go in and you see a trailer, it's like a 60-second trailer, and it's like, well, right. I can save seven bucks. I don't need to go see exactly. this. Well, that was the first Star Trek film that was made by the fans for the fans, mm -hmm. and I think it had that sensibility to it. And in that yeah. sense, they're going to go anyway. This really reached the hardcore Star Trek fans. So. Whatever you can load the trailer with, just load it, because you're right. just going to get more people in opening weekend. Exactly. Okay, guys, time to go to a viewer, viewer letter. What do you think? Let's go to one. This is a real viewer letter. This is, we got two last okay. year. Okay, here's one. One of our viewers, Gary Joelbach, emailed us in what he would like to see in a theatrical trailer. Here's what he writes. Just once, I wish that a movie studio would release a movie where the only thing you knew was that it starred so-and-so, is rated whatever, and is titled, you know, fill in the blank. Why don't the studios do it just like that? It seems like a logical marketing ploy. Jim, do you agree with that letter? No, I mean, <clears throat> that's, uh, he's not describing a trailer there. He's describing an ad in Variety. Exactly. Although ads in Variety probably are a little more interesting than that. Right. Jeff, what do you think? 
He's describing a billboard, basically, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, this is like the old art house or foreign film type of trailers, which are really boring when it comes right down to it. And when you're dealing with a business where anticipation and awareness are half the battle, you've got to get to people long right. in advance to build that. Right. I say hire him and give him his own parking spot. <laughs> I mean, the kid's brilliant. Okay. Well, on that note, don't go away, folks. we got more trailers and discussion in the war room. It's all when SF Vortex returns. All right, that trailer from The Fifth Element didn't really show much, though. But that's exactly what we're talking about here, folks. We're talking trailers with marketing guru Jeff Walker, freelance sci-fi writer James E. Brooks, and the host of my second favorite show right here on the Sci-Fi Channel, Trailer Park. And, of course, I speak of Tom Davis right here. Now, what would you think of that trailer? Not really showing much, Jeff. No, not at all. It's very much what our last letter, letter writer was asking Is that going to gonna get you to go see that movie? The, the, the it curiosity? wouldn't get me to go see the movie. Uh, it doesn't even mention the star. It doesn't mention the director. Uh, that's Bruce, Bruce Willis and Luc Besson. I mean, they're well-known uh, people. That trailer was just like a billboard. That's all it, but it was. I'll bet that fifth element is a lot more interesting than the first four. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling. And I'll bet you the director had something to do with the script. Uh, you, just a guess. Jim, did it get your curiosity? <laughs> up at all? No, it it it, it kind of irritated me a little <laughs> bit actually cuz I think that's I think that's you're right that that's almost tailor made for what the letter writer wanted but uh, there's such a thing as too much, but there's also such a thing as too little, and I think that errs it, it on the side of too little. It could be a great movie, but we don't know. We have no right. idea. We'll have to wait for the next uh, trailer. Uh, I'll, I'll it. wait till it comes on TV. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> building awareness, building anticipation for a film is half the battle of getting people into a theater. This right. obviously doesn't do that. Here's what I wanted to ask you, Jeff. How about let's take a movie like Twister, for instance. The, the trailer came out, and there was some pretty amazing footage there that wasn't in the movie. What's happening there? That's not ethical. That's like oh, false advertisement. No, it's perfectly eth ethical. The, the, the trailer makers are using with the footage that's given to them. They don't know what's going to be in the film. Right. In, in Twister's case, you have an unusual circumstance in that the first teaser actually contained the CGI shot that got the movie greenlit by the studio that proved they could do the Twister, that they could do a tornado. Oh. And that subsequently played so strongly in-house, they decided to fold it into the first teaser. So what you're seeing there is a test. Okay. When that, when the but that's sort of a no-lose situation. I mean, I just want to see the tornado. You know? <laughs> I want to see the tornado, and, and they delivered in that movie. So no, I, was... I saw the tornado, what, five times or something? That and was they the delivered in the trailer. The show. It they was showed a great it in the tornado. How soon sometimes is a trailer made? Is, is sometimes a trailer made during the filming of the, of, of the actual movie? Sometimes you'll get a teaser that is made during the filming. Right. Um, you're not going to get anything that has obviously has special effects in it, right. because these days those aren't even done till the week before a picture opens. Okay, speaking of a lot of special effects, Starship Troopers is scheduled for a November release. And with this trailer, folks, I think it's pretty sure that what you see is what you get. I'm going. Wow, great Jim, trailer. are you going? I'm going. It looks, That's a great trailer. It looks great. Yeah, and, and I think uh, it's got a lot of energy. It, it shows some of the stuff that you want to see. Are the bugs going to look good? How the battle sequence is going to look? But it doesn't really give away the story. I suspect that... Uh, Jeff was mentioning earlier that this is aimed, this is something that the 14-year-olds really glom onto. 14-year-old boys is boys, what I want to right. point out. So it's it's not not a date. My wife, I have to drag her to that one. <laughs> yeah. Tom, this this is not a date movie, guys. Yeah. Think, it was a great trailer. And I loved it, but I'm a boy. Yeah. I, I, like, I like the guns, I like the big insects coming up. My, my wife, is, she's, she's going to want to go see the Woody So you're going to be camping out at Toys R Us when this picture comes out, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to collect it. Jeff, cool. what do you think? <laughs> it's a terrific trailer. I think the movie's going to be terrific, and I'm actually working on it, so if I should probably qualify what I'm saying. I that. think it's a terrific <laughs> movie. <laughs> but real quick, before i got 30 seconds, what about that little shot there from the director of, sometimes from the producer of? Does that help? Oh, boy, it does a lot. Uh, um, I mean, Total Recall was a fabulous film. Right. And what else did they do? Robocop. Robocop. Right. Yeah, a great, a great film. Movie. And uh, I also would like to point out that it's, it's a Heinlein story, which yes. is a great... That's right. It starts out with a great writer. Right. Yeah. It's this, all in the this. writing. i got to get out of here. That's it for the war, and we're out of time already. I want to thank Jeff Walker, James E. Brooks, and Tom Davis. What show you want again? Trailer Park. <laughs> Only <laughs> on the... Sci-Fi Network. There you have it. Sci-Fi Channel. <laughs> You guys be valid for your space it. parking. <laughs> it's a joke. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, folks. Lots more here in the vortex. We'll see you in a moment.